You're not human! Bingo! Now yeah, we're dealing with a real mind here. What's up YouTubers and Turtle fans, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the newly released 2-pack from Playmates of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When Playmates announced 3 plus months ago that they were going to re-release their classic versions of their turtles, I for one was really excited. I unfortunately missed out on the originals, so this gives me an opportunity to get these into my collection. And unlike the classic releases that were single carded, these are coming in two packs. You can see the nice big clear window on the front of the packaging right here. And this is the Leonardo vs. Rocksteady set. When we flip the box around, you'll see a fantastic drawing of the turtles on the left and the bad guys on the right. And there is a little bio at the bottom of each one of the pictures. And I will post them right now, so feel free to pause the video and read those at your will. And as you're taking a moment to read those, I'll get this box adjusted. On the left side, you can see the four turtles. On the right side, you can see the four bad guys, or the rebels, as they're calling them. And you'll notice in the picture, there's a Shredder figure. And in the middle, you'll see the upcoming sets that they're going to be releasing. Leonardo vs. Rocksteady, Michelangelo vs. Bebop, Raphael vs. Triceraton, Donatello vs. Shredder. And I know that the classic versions didn't have the Shredder figure, so I for one am looking forward to see what that Shredder's going to finally look like. Let's put the box back around to the front. Get another really good look at this. And as I've said in all my videos, this is a fantastic representation for you mint in box collectors to put on your shelf and present it in this fashion. But you know me, let's open it up and see what these guys are all about. Now that we've laid everything out on the table, let's go over the accessories that each of the figures comes with. Over here you can see Leonardo comes with both of his katana blades, each of which are absolutely identical. These are molded in a gray plastic, and you can see that the handle is actually painted blue. Not the bright blue that we're used to, but more like a teal color blue. The blade itself is pretty flexible, so no fear of that breaking. And of course there's two of those. Now Rocksteady comes with his own blade, an oversized machete if you will. Great looking detail on this. He also comes with this oversized gun. A lot of detail on this. It's one solid gun, so the bipod doesn't move at all. And for some reason, there's a hollow spot on the underside. Also included, each figure has their own stand. Now looking at Leonardo's stand, you can see his name painted on the Placket right there and the embossed raised TNMT symbol. The same stand comes with Rocksteady and his name is painted on his. Going over the painted sculpt of each of the figures, we'll go over Leonardo first. Looking at his face, you can see the blue mask or the teal blue mask, which matches his katana blade handles. I really like how they got the stern look on his face. And of course the mask goes all the way around the back and this is made out of a nice pliable rubber. No fair breaking. Looking at his chest, you can see the nice painted yellow shell on the front. Nice bright green for the skin tone. On the front of his belt he's got his L symbol and a single strap going across his chest where in the cartoon sometimes he wore two straps. We'll look at the armbands on the side here with the elbow pads. Great looking detail in those where they're wide on one end and narrow on the inside. Of course the wristbands are the same type of plastic. Great looking detail on those. We'll come down to his knee pads. Again and narrow in the back and wide in the front. And that's so you can take full advantage of all his articulation. If you look at his backside, you can see his shell and his two scabbards for both of his katana blades crisscross right here. Let's grab his swords and see if we can't get these to slip in here nice and easily. There we go. Great looking detail on his shell. This is actually removable. This is just a pin and a hole. And that just lines up right here and pops in nice and easily. So that's our look at Leonardo. Let's bring 
in the mutated rhinoceros necks, rock steady. Right out of the gate, you can see his two off-white horns on the front of his snout. I really love the texture and the detail that they put on his head. Of course, you can see his bright yellow eyes right there and his painted teeth. Now his green bomber hat is removable. And this is pretty pliable, which is fantastic. So that won't break. That just slips over his ears like this. You see the bandolier strapped over his chest with painted shotgun shells. And on this side, there's actually a grenade right here. He's sporting his tan muscle shirt. Looking at his pants, he's got green paint or camouflage on his pants. On his right arm, he's got a brown wristband and a green bandana on his bicep right here. On his thigh, he's got a turtle shell. And he's got a turtle shell on this thigh. Nice big brown leather boots. And if I stand them up like this, you can actually see how his back is hunched over right here. And of course the bandolier goes all the way around his back. So the scope for both of these figures is absolutely fantastic, considering that the originals were released so many years ago. It's time to go over the articulation of both the figures. We'll start out with Leo here and I have him standing up on his own without his stand to show you that he can actually do that. We'll start with his head sculpt. You can move left and right. And of course you can go all the way around if you need to. He can look up about this far and he can tuck his chin in about this far. Next, we'll take a look at the obvious cut right here in his midsection. And if I turn him to the side, you can see that this articulation is actually attached to the shell, so when I move the shell, the whole upper body moves. It does pivot left and right a little bit. Of course, it's hindered by the bandolier right here. But he can look down this far if you keep his legs straight. And he can only stand vertically because of the shell. Looking at his shoulders, he's got fantastic range of motion with his shoulders. They go up this far. And of course, they rotate 360 degrees. His bicep also rotates 360 degrees. Double joint at the elbow. Nice bend right here. He can almost touch his face. Look at his wrist. This rotates. 360 degrees. It also bends up and down, and which is hidden by the wristband. So it'll bend in this direction. And of course it'll bend in the opposite direction. Like this. Now looking at his fingers, each one of these is independently articulated. The thumb moves and also rotates. And each one of his two fingers are independent of each other. So they bend independently and if you want to, you can give him a thumbs up like this. Now coming down to his legs, a really great range of motion here. You can do the splits this far. And these actually rotate in a 360 fashion. And you'll notice that right here on the thigh there's a cut. So if I can hold, there we go. That actually rotates independently of the hip joint. We'll come down and he can Spartan kick forward this far. This is Sparta! And a double knee joint right here. Nice tight bend. Looking at his ankle or his foot. This rotates in this direction. This is on a ball joint. Point his toes down this far. And he can point his foot up this far. Now let's look at his two turtle toes. These are actually articulated as well, independent of each other. So they go up and down on their own. And if you want to, you can put his toe in the pool to see how cold the water is. 
Just absolutely amazing articulation for this Leonardo figure. And there's no problem getting him into all those ninja fighting poses. And while we have him here, let's see if we can't get him to hold on to at least one of his swords with those articulated fingers. So, put his sword here and rotate the thumb around. Like this. And have to grab it like so. Move his fingers in. And my fear was he was actually going to drop this. Um, let me tighten it up. There we go. Yeah. No problem at all. Give it a little shake. Nope. He's holding on to that sword nice and tight. Those three little turtle fingers are doing their job. And with all this fantastic articulation, Leonardo is getting ready to take on Shredder and all his goons. Let's check out Rocksteady's articulation next. And the first thing I'm actually going to do is remove his bomber hat right here because I don't want that falling off a hundred times on camera. Now his head can pivot left and right. It does come up just a little bit. And of course his chin does tuck in tight to his chest. Now if his back wasn't so hunched over, I'm sure he could look up a little bit further. Coming down to his shoulders, his arms go up really high, just like Leonardo. Of course, it rotates right here at the shoulder. And his bicep rotates independent of the shoulder. Double jointed elbows. Nice tight joint here because he doesn't have elbow pads on, so he can actually touch his own shoulder for the most part. Let's rotate here at the wrist, 360 degrees. And his wrists also bend in and out. Like so. A little bit beta range of motion because he doesn't have wide wristbands on. No articulated fingers, but he does have a trigger finger right here. So it looks like the turtles are only gonna have the articulated fingers. So let's look at his waist next. You see there's a cut right there. And this actually rotates back and forth and I don't believe there's any up and down motion uh, there is just very little you can bend forward this far and yeah very little motion right here again that's due to his body shape and his hunched back coming down to his legs he can do the splits this far and of course those are hindered by the turtle shells right here now his legs also can rotate 360 degrees right here at the waist. And notice that there's no thigh cut right here like the turtles. He can kick forward about this far. Not too bad for a rhinoceros. Double knee joint. Nice tight bend right there for his big calves. And he's got a boot cut. So that rotates 360 degrees. And no articulation down here by his ankle. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with the articulation they actually gave this rock steady figure. Not bad for a mutated rhinoceros. And just like Leo, let's see if we can't get him to hold on to his weapons. We'll put the gun in his right hand, bend him at the elbow, and let's see if I can't get him to grip the gun like this. Um, now let's hold on to the foregrip and tuck it in. And let's bend his head in this direction. Not bad. Next, we'll grab his machete. See if he can't hold on to this and give it a quick shake. Nope, he's not going to drop that either. And let's wrap up this video by giving you a height comparison and I'll bring in my tape measure so you can get an idea of just how tall these figures are standing. I'll place it in the center of these two without knocking them over. And you can see they're both right around, well, Rocksteady's about six inches and Leo's about six and a quarter. Now, like I said earlier, I missed out on the original classic releases of these figures from Playmates from years ago. and. I was pretty psyched to actually come across these in my local Walmart today. 
picked them up and they're running roughly about 38 bucks for the set. So if you missed out on them, this gives you an opportunity to finally add them and put them on your shelf. And as a consolation, if you missed out on the NECA figures and you can't seem to find them because of distribution, and you find these guys, pick them up and add them to your turtle collection. You won't be disappointed. I just want to take a moment and thank everyone for stopping by and checking out my video. And if you notice, my channel is starting to grow a little bit. So, I want to thank everyone for swinging by and helping my channel grow. Whether you're a subscriber or not, I sincerely thank you. Well, this is going to wrap up my review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2-pack of Leonardo and Rocksteady. Thank you again for watching, and if you like what you see, join the community and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to help a fellow collector out and share your knowledge. Ninja Turtles!